Happy Friday, everybody. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for the positive feedback on the last one. Uh, it's really important to me to hear that stuff, so kind of wanted to keep going. I really don't know how many um, of these that we'll be able to get through on a daily basis or monthly basis or weekly basis, so we're just going to kind of go with what comes naturally and uh, that that's probably just going to be based on my availability during the week and how I feel. Um, but the goal is to get through all of Sun Tzu and The Art of War and his book and just share with you my takeaways. I read this uh, years ago, not particularly this copy, but I definitely took a lot away from it. Um, and it was for, for, you know, art of war in the sense of business. And so I'm going to use two books on this one. I'm going to go with this nice fancy one. And then this one has a little bit more of interpretations by other, by other, uh, I guess, generals. And, uh, this one's going to be really fun because when you open this one up and we're going to go ahead and go to, um, the fourth chapter or the uh the fourth yeah the fourth piece in the table of contents and uh what I love about this one is is it's just his meditations so it's just master son's meditations and um I, I read read the one that we're gonna go over today during lunch I'm, I'm going with chapter 4 verse 2 and my plan is to again do all of these and then have like a ultimate master compilation I guess one day and then see what we can get out of it in that regard so the main book just Sun Tzu chapter 4 verse 2 to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. There's a lot to take away from that, and before I dive into my thoughts on how it relates to things I've done with my business and things that I am going to be doing with my business moving forward and the LLC, and ultimately the co, the company that I create. Let's go and see what the pocketbook version says. And it has a different translation. Master Son, invincibility is in oneself. Vulnerability is in the enemy. And this is one of the reasons I kind of like the, the main one better. Uh, because it just seems to be more open. This one is like more simple, you know, more straightforward, kind of like when you're translating Latin. So Dumu says, Keeping your own military in order, always being prepared for opposition, erase your tracks, hide your form, making yourself inscrutable to opponents. When you see that opponent can be taken advantage of, then you emerge to attack. Wang Chi says invincibility is a matter of self-defense. Vulnerable Vulnerability is simply a matter of having gaps. So there's a lot to take away from everyone's interpretation. My interpretation for it in the sense of, of how to use this to your advantage when either starting a company, building a company, maintaining a company, growing a company is going to be that you really need to focus on mastering yourself, knowing yourself, making your company the best that it can be. You can only control what you can control. And if the competition does allow itself to fall prey to some vulnerability, then that's yes, that's when you take advantage of it. 
uh, and perhaps turn it into a positive for you and your company. But in order to be prepared, you know, opportunity is when, no, luck is, <laughs> sorry, the, the music turned up and I lost my train of thought. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. So if that's the case, then what we need to do is just consistently focus on ourselves, focus on our company, focus on what we're doing. And when the time presents itself, AKA the opportunity, we will already have had the preparation to be where we want to be. But as Du Mu said, keeping your own military in order, always being prepared for opposition, making yourself inscrutable to opponents. And you know, opposition doesn't necessarily have to be an opponent or an enemy company. Opposition is gonna be market trends, market forces, um, the, the, the customers who are difficult, uh, maybe conquering a new target market or something like that. And then when the opportunity to, does present itself, then you'll be able to take advantage of it and exploit it. So whatever target market you are trying to conquer, you need to be able to observe it. You cannot force victory. And that's kind of following up on a lot of the videos of inspirational people that I've been listening to. Um, from, from Tim Ferriss in the four hour work week. And I wish I could remember his name. I just started listening to him, but I, I really love what he's been saying, but it's, you know, people and companies, they, they just kind of, they look at what the need is first and then they match it. They don't try to fill an infinite hole. They don't try to force their idea or their product on the market. If the market doesn't want it. So if your strategy and yourself is invincible, meaning you have an invincible mindset, you will conquer that which you set your sights on. And that was my reflection from earlier uh, that, I, that I thought. So I'll say that again. If your strategy and self is invincible, meaning that you have an invincible mindset, that you're going to conquer this, you know, that you will overcome, that I'm ready, I showed up prepared, I've been training for this, I've been doing for, I've been doing this, nothing can stop me, then you will conquer that which you set your sights on. Invincibility is in oneself. Vulnerability is in the opponent. Don't let your own mind be the opponent. How you do anything is how you do everything. So there we go, everyone. Little eight minute reflection on the art of war and the little notepads. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. For now, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend, everyone. And we will see you later. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to me, leave a comment. If you liked any, uh, you know, write down in the comments some quotes that you liked, if um, anything inspired you so others can be inspired. Uh, as always, keep climbing the hill. Have a good one.